see you. I'm in a bit of a situation here. Locked in. And I'm not alone. What should we do? How do we get out of this room? Hello, it's Cooper. Good job getting the girl out of immediate danger. You seem to have a solid handle on things. With the arrival approaching, we're being watched more closely than ever and so I have to pretend to work. However, I'm installing a help desk in your OmniView display. Select the help desk icon if you need my expertise along the way. Good luck tonight. No doubt, the girl would be doomed without you. So the girl wants to find the librarian. I hope he can help her, but I fear she may overestimate his influence inside Metamorphosis. This place is changing, evolving into something even more sinister than its original purpose. In searching for the librarian, remember, you have a map. Use it to check out areas you've visited. Thanks for getting me out of... Senor Octavo joins Metamorphosis. Librarian is now preeminent manifesto scholar. I met the librarian this morning. He's a sweet man with his heart sewn directly onto his adorable little lapel. And I do so admire his passion for literature. In a former life, I would swoon over a well-read man. But I hope for his sake, he learns to bury that part of himself. In here, Following your passion is the shortest road to recalibration. Why 390H? I see you're admiring our latest installation. Why do you keep these books away from us? I can handle them. <laughs> Maybe you're right. However, there are others in your class who are not as strong as you. And books like those can make them sick. Would it be fair to let you read them, but keep them from your friends? That doesn't sound fair. Well then, so are you saying you would prefer that they read them too? Will you have their illness on your conscience? I don't want that either. Of course not. I am not a filter for your ideas, child. 
I am your shield. There is so much ugliness in this world. Let me stand in the way of it. Let me stare it down. Your eyes are too pretty to witness such things. I, I appreciate the compliment, Headmaster. Three nine zero H. You must hurry along now. The rest of your class is already inside. Why does he hold those books away from us, Senor Octavo? It is the headmaster's belief that those books sully the minds of pre cows and should therefore be removed from our curriculum. But that isn't what you believe, is it? Books like these do not paint a rosy picture of the world. But they are not meant to. They are not paintings of the world we want. They are mirrors, reflecting the world we have. There. I don't know what that Bruce Rack's intentions were, but I'm glad we didn't stick around to find out. What's yours is mine. You're about to send the girl back through the part of the facility she just escaped from. There may be some... so quiet after hours. It used to be filled with books. <gasps> the librarian's glasses. His office is up there, third floor. We should go to him now. Have a quiet night. battery was getting low. P0 here. Good idea. We can recharge here. This is 
Someday the truth will rain down on this place and wash away all of the headmaster's lies. I've never seen the rain before. Zager wasn't talking about the rain. He was talking about the truth. I don't care about the truth. I just want to know what rain feels like. Going in for the steel. Nice. Place is quiet. Zager's silence deafening. The notorious terrorist is quiet, scheming. The arrival is just weeks away, and public enemy number one has gone radio silent. If the headmaster, or overseer, or whatever name he goes by these days, plans to take a bow on the world stage, he can't have a phantom hiding in the wings ready to sabotage his big production. I shouldn't complain. It's going to be one hell of a show. I'll be taking this. Check in. may come in handy. Got it. Nothing to report. Everything looks good. Going in to pick his pockets. Huh? Heading toward the subject now. 
God. Bring up the threat level. Equipping. <gasps> He's got me. <gasps> I'll check his pockets. I got something. I found some pepper spray. It seems this door requires Omni Level 2. You can upgrade your OmniView software at a demon server. I'm detecting a demon server near the overseer's office. The nearest approach is from the museum. The librarian's portrait has been taken down. I hope this is only a symbolic gesture. It's the right thing to do. Librarian okay's decision to protect precals from literary rot. Hmm. I'll hold on to this. Can't see me here. Threat level is back to normal. See me here. I'll find you. Going in to pick his pockets. P zero at the ready. See what he's carrying. He's not carrying anything. All right, good thinking. They can't see me here. False prophet infiltrates metamorphosis. Masquerading as Prizrak, man brings toxic agenda to our perfect garden. The man's name is Zager, I believe. Daniel Marcus Zager. Apparently he was some kind of journalist on the outside. If the overseer was smart, He'd label this as an act of supreme jealousy. After all, ours is a nation so wonderful that people risk death to sneak inside. Hmm. Maybe we should take the initiative and lead with this angle. To get into the headmaster's office upstairs, we will need his pin code. I don't have it in my files, but we can recover it. We'll need to answer some security questions first.
The first draft rumbled from my mind and shook the page like a 9.0 earthquake. The pen was merely the needle on the seismograph, recording the shock waves. Good. I hope they can't see me here. Report. Good. Hmm. I'll hold on to this. Good. I hope they can't see me here. Headmaster! Headmaster, over here! If it isn't my favorite journalist from the Morning Bell. It was a brilliant speech, Headmaster. Why, thank you, Miss Fade. Please, call me Maddie. Perhaps you could tell your citizens a bit more about the arrival. As much as you can state publicly, of course. Of course, well, in a matter of weeks, we will take our bow on the global stage. The arrival is our world debut, and once it comes to pass, there will be little doubt that though we are a small nation and few in number, we are a force to be reckoned with. I'm sorry, I had a follow-up, but I just... I just got lost in the power of your voice. <laughs> Why, Matty, please, you embarrass me. Now, where was I? Oh, right. Your cryptic answers, which I adore, I must add. Thank you. But they've left some to speculate that the arrival refers to our ascension as a nuclear power. Ah, nuclear power. In the 21st century, nuclear power is a contradiction in terms. Let those dying republics split atoms to their heart's content. No, my dear Maddie, what our Republic achieved is something far more impressive. And the mark we leave on the world will last an eternity. Hello? 
librarian. Good evening, Overseer. Around the precals, I must insist you address me as headmaster. Oh, uh, my apologies, sir. What did you think of my lecture? You may speak freely. Well, it... Uh, it... Well, hmm? You most certainly have a passion for what you teach. It was most inspiring. Hmm. Your eyes and your words don't seem to align. Now, I asked that you speak freely. It, it's okay. No harm in speaking your mind to me. I will respect your honesty. In fact, I demand nothing less. Well then, sir, to be blunt, I... It... It felt more like a sermon than a lecture tonight. Do you take issue with that? Again, speak freely. Well, sir, I... I have never been a part of an academy quite like this one. The precals, well, they seem to study only one subject here. Hmm. What subject is that? Well, sir, you. Quiet tonight. Going in for the steel. Got it. I found under cassette. I hope they can't see me here.
passed one bucolic farm after another, every field dotted with plump Russian black pied cattle. Never in my life have I felt so bereft. I would have committed the most heinous of crimes to have tasted the rich, salty goodness of their flesh. And the headmaster was held prisoner. Nothing going. Mm. Get your grubby mitts off me. <gasps> I think he's had enough. I'll check his pockets. <gasps> Nothing. I'll be taking this. What was meant as a warning to Perzrak to be on the lookout for hiding precals is actually a good suggestion for the girl. Ducking behind the plant is a great way to escape detection. Pepper spray here. Arming pepper spray. They won't find me. Remind the girl to walk slowly. Hurried footsteps will attract the attention of the Prizrak. Welcome to my domain. See anything you like. Increase the threat level. 
An old Zager cassette. They won't find me in here. You found me a good spot. You found me a good spot. Sounds good. open This spot looks good I hope they can't see me here Good thinking. I hope they can't see me here. To get into the headmaster's office upstairs, we will need his pin code. I don't have it in my files, but we can recover it. We'll need to answer some security questions first. Quiet. 
it's too f far ahead. I've been this way before. We're getting closer to the headmaster's office. This may come in handy. Why, librarian, you look like you've seen a ghost. I see many ghosts on these walls. Why would you take pictures with monsters and worse, display them proudly? I have sat for pictures with many important people, even people I find disagreeable. I suspect you mean me. How could you stand beside this man here? Not a fan of the Generalissimo, are we? I crossed an ocean to escape Franco's brutality, only to find his brand of fascism had been imported to Argentina. Well, I can't speak to that, but I will say I found our meeting quite pleasant. He was an excellent conversationalist, and his taste in wine impeccable. Looks good. Another quiet night. I hope they can't see me here. You can't hide from us. P zero at the ready. My pockets are full. Welcome to my domain. What are you buying? 
monitor prisoner on patrol notes. Come back anytime. Plato's keen eyes peered further into the future than any of his Grecian contemporaries. He was, and will remain, the most vocal supporter of the classic Republic, and its earliest. While the Twenties roared in America, they screamed like a Siberian windstorm in Vladimir's hometown of Simbirsk. A controversial man of the people, he was, surely. And the fact that he spent time in political exile makes him that much more admirable, in my estimation. We owe a debt of gratitude to those giants whose shoulders we've stood upon. The earlier they lived, the larger their stature, and so the greater our debt. His detractors would call him an opportunist, and they would be right. But Yataro Iwasaki was given nothing less than the modest opportunity to bring an entire nation into the modern age, and he succeeded. The nerve of him. A personal favorite. For those who would criticize him for his monopolistic tendencies in the early 20th century, I say, shout it from the rooftops, or barring that, hop online and voice your disdain in a chat forum. He would appreciate the irony. Her death in 1952 was a tragedy, not just for the Argentine shirtless who idolized her, but for the anti-Peronists who celebrated her demise. Christ had a similarly divided populace to contend with, and like Eva, succumbed to sacrifice at the age of 33. It is difficult to write a story as it unfolds, but to wait until it's finished is to risk butchering the telling of it. I would rather strain the wrists of those taking my dictation than cause even a modicum of butchery. The father of Europe was besieged from all sides by pagan tyranny. And then in the year 800, he did a most remarkable thing. He held the hands of secularism and religion and married them together in what would later be called the Renaissance. You didn't light up. Something. 
Something's wrong. The statue's already activated. A new statue lit up. Chill it up. statue lit up. You've solved it. You're a natural at puzzles. I'll check his pockets. Let's go for the steel. I'll check his pockets. Got it? pyramid like the one near the headmaster's dining room. Taser. Arming Taser.
remember being here as a young girl. get paid twice as much to take twice as long. Unbelievable. Right this way, sir. Watch your step. Unqualified disaster. And on the eve of the arrival, no less. Everything is fine, sir. Fine? You were assaulted by a Prizrak. And you let altered copies of the manifesto reach the church. I have the situation under control. I'm beginning to think your definition of control is different than mine. They don't respect you because you don't wear the uniform. It's a weakness. It puts you at risk. This is an historic night for us. There can be no room for error. I understand. Then you understand why Derringer will lead the arrival. What? I'm sorry, my dear. We all appreciate the fine work you do with the kids. But you lost sight of what's most important. Protecting me. So. I can lead the arrival. Murray, you speak the language of diplomacy. Derringer speaks the truth. Truth hurts. This isn't a dismissal. Derringer will still need your help when we get reset. Yes, sir. The mentor is an asset to our cause. I look forward to hearing our ideas going forward. What's your step? She's weak. I hope that's all it is. Where was Murray when the Prizrak attacked her? The section, outside the library. I'll look into it. It's hard to know who to trust these days. It seems we're running a loyalty deficit around here. I don't mean you, Quinn, of course. I know. 
I can trust you. Wait. I never forgot this before. Must be old age. No chance, sir. You just got a lot on your mind tonight. Quite so. Come, young man, let's get to the surface. Dormmaster faces swift reprimand. Mireille Prideau found with contraband. Overseer, none of us are above the law. Librarian, may I come in? Ah, Headmaster, welcome. Oh, 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 oh. Ay, who is this fierce creature? <laughs> it's an Ainu owl, Librarian. My ancestors carved these from the amber trunks of Japanese spindle trees. I want you to have this one. Modest housewarming gift, nothing more. Well, uh, muchas gracias, senor. It's a handsome piece. Uh, I shall place it here on this shelf. No, 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 no. Lend it a bit more prominence. It's meant to be set out in the open. Ah, this way it can bring you luck. Well, it's... Uh, the eyes. Yes, 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 yes. They are a touch piercing. But that's the idea, you see. The owl is ever watchful. He will protect you day and night. Ah, yes, well, it's truly, truly, how can I... Oh, you? you're welcome. You just acquired a fingerprint from that glass. Normally, the overseer wouldn't be so careless as to leave a usable print. But recently, in celebration of Zager's capture, the big man hoard himself a stiff drink, and for a moment, let his guard down. Those pristine white gloves came off, and he was one of us for a day. Gentlemen, I wish to resign. This is grossly inappropriate. You are burning books. I have seen it with my own eyes. The books I procured for you. Each book has been scanned into our servers and is now part of our digital catalog. You are merely hung up on nostalgia. You are erasing history. These books are my property now. I can do with them as I please. No, 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 no. I, I cannot be a party to this. I wish to leave immediately. First you want to resign, now you want to leave? I assume the implication was apparent. You're not going anywhere. You cannot keep me here against my will. In fact, I can. You, like the books, are now property of the state. You will continue to fulfill your obligations to the pre-cows until I decide what to do with you. I have a few suggestions, sir. It's locked. I'm stuck.
You now have what you need to access the librarian's office. I know the girl is anxious to find him. I've got my post secure. He's empty. The girl is no doubt anxious to see the librarian. You now have what you need to access the librarian's office. I suggest you return to the library. His office door is located on the second floor. They won't find me. Everything looks good. They won't find me in here. It's a taser. Taser in hand. Place looks good. All right, what? good thinking.
equipping P0. Oh, no. Looting his pockets. His pockets are empty. He's just up these stairs. Librarian! Librarian! Senor Octavo? Librarian! Oh no! The girl activated a video that appears to have been recorded only moments ago. I presume it relates to the dead librarian. It's important that we determine what happened. However, she's not accustomed to witnessing violence. It's difficult to anticipate how it will affect her. Senor Octavo, just the man I want to see. Hello, Derringer. To what do I owe this pleasure? Good book. It is a classic. Not just a classic. I mean, it's actually good. I, how can I help you? Why does this guy, Edmund Dantes? Dante. Dante, right. Why does this guy tell Maximilian that his girl is dead? For revenge. No, Maximilian's his friend. Yes, you are. You're right, of course. I... <laughs> Damn it, man. You, you have read this, haven't you? Of course, yes. Uh, no, uh, I meant uh, it has been a while. Why does Dante's put his friend through so much misery? I, I think the point is to teach a lesson. You cannot know happiness unless you have been exposed to uh, tragedy. I can't know hope without despair. I believe that is it, yes. It's kind of like the pre-cows. They don't know up from down, good from bad. They got no perspective because they don't have a clue about the outside. Or do they? This is an intriguing intellectual exercise, Derringer, but it is late and I... Why'd you give the kids the poison manifesto? I, I, I did not. What are you doing in that hidden room downstairs? What room? Think we can't hear that god-awful music bleeding through the walls? I, I, I just... I just read and... Uh, Reading Sega's trash! I, I have seen it, yes, but, but I, I would never act on it. You conspire against us. No. You were planning to help the no. children escape. No, didn't you? I... I can't watch this anymore.
Señor Octavo. Un momento. Buenos días. Mi señor Octavo. Sí, I am Luis Octavo, yes. My name's Quinn Derringer. My employer contacted you. <laughs> yes, of course. The mystery man who pays me twice what I ask. Did he receive the books yet? He did. And he thanks you. He'd like to thank you personally. Of course. Tell him to come in at any time. He's not in Buenos Aires. Is your passport in order? <laughs> My passport? What is this about? My employer has some more work for you. Mystery man? What sort of work? That's the mystery. Well, uh, where would I go? Oh, impossible. I cannot close my shop. My employer thinks you can. He'll pay whatever you ask. He doesn't even know my price. But he knows you have one. You got a number in your head, senor? I do. Good. Double it. Where's your passport at? Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait a minute. How long will I be gone? Just a few days. I promise. I don't know if I agree with your decision to show the girl that horrifying video. Still, maybe it's best she knows the whole truth. Dear Senor Octavo, Thank you so very much for giving me a copy of Labyrinths by Borgia. Each of the stories was fascinating. I especially enjoyed the one called The Library of Babel. It made me think of you, surrounded by all those books, overwhelmed with the infinite number of ideas they contain, and left wondering which books contain the truth and which are false. Is it true you knew Borgia and discussed literature with him? If so, I am positively envious. Thank you again for the stimulating read. Your friend, 390H. Hmm, I'll hold on to this. Salinger, amateur sculptor of teenaged angst. In Catcher in the Rye, he forces us to watch Holden flit from school to school. Oh, poor eel, tormented by Hera's gadfly. When Caulfield realizes that he, not the institutions, beleaguer him the most, he is truly at risk. Our beloved pre-cows must never know their gadflies and ever rely on their republic to satisfy. We don't need another Mark David Chapman. Ah, yes, Ayn Rand, the bulldozer. She dramatized the struggle for individualism against leeches. In reality, she abandoned such notions the minute they interfered with her own desires. They were socialist figments. In any case, librarian, not the true power structures that shape our lives. I'm afraid the fountainhead cannot flow, stopped up with so much hypocrisy. Ah, Ellison, who lets his nameless protagonist vacillate between conforming as an amnesiac of racial disadvantage and recalling all the doors locked by white hands. Belonging versus integrity. 
This book keeps open and raw such dichotomies, like festering wounds, while preserving an outdated model of social conflict. Invisible man should remain invisible. Illustrating in pointless detail one's sexual perversion does not make for good writing. Miller's Tropic of Cancer is about as sexy as cancer itself. Our beloved pre-cows must never suffer the caustic eruptions of desire this book desires to make possible. Like innocence lost, circulated contraband cannot be totally retrieved, but it may be tended. When we remove the object of desire, we erase the possibility for dissent. Salman Rushdie is about as much an idiot as Pasternak, particularly when he waxes political in Midnight's Children. Everyone wants freedom from empire until they must deal with the doler of life without empire. His liberation of India is a distorted poetic dream. Revolutions happen unknown, except to the prescient few who take the reins. And in our time, those reins are cables that choke undesired information from the public eye. Kafka's Metamorphosis. Best to keep using the German title, Die Verwandlung. We cannot risk cross-contaminating the name of our grand experiment with this simplistic trash. This book portrays the act of transforming one's essence as a vile and isolating experience. Such misinterpretation would burden our children with doubt toward our own ends. Squash this vile bug, librarian. Pain is best read as a comedian, librarian. For pain, constitutions come from rights, charters create chaos, and monarchs require oversight against corruption from all whose interests fall short of the state's well-being. We are beyond constitutions, charters, even monarchs. We are communication itself. These so-called rights of man must not radicalize anyone into thinking otherwise. Good luck surviving in this meditative space strategy game, which takes basic RTS building mechanics and wraps it together with a pleasing minimalistic visual design. Oh and good luck pronouncing its title. If I had access to Wikipedia, I could have saved myself from asking a fellow Prizrak and Swedish native what REM capsule means. He said it means, space capsule. He then reported me immediately to Derringer. The Stanley Parable is about a man with an extremely boring job who just sits at his computer all day doing the same thing over and over. One day, he looks up from his desk and realizes that he's all alone. This is where the story begins, when the man decides to spice up his life by not doing what he's told. Sounds like a hero to me. British humor was hard for me to follow, but thanks to our multicultural workforce here in Metamorphosis, I'm finally able to wrap my head around the minimalist charm of Thomas Was Alone. With themes as universal as friendship and freedom, this spectacular puzzle platformer has broad appeal. Danny Wallace's narration really brings the characters to life, and is a source of inspiration for my future career in voice acting. This game starts by saying you've won the labor lottery. Trust me, this is not something you want to win. In papers please, you work the mundane job of our Stotska Immigration Services, which means cross-referencing fingerprints, stamping passports, and asking people intrusive questions. Sound boring? Tell that to soul developer Lucas Pope who's sitting on a mountain of Game of the Year awards for papers please. I am not worthy. Mir Moon EP takes me back in a big way. Back before the internet and FAQs, when we used to get stuck, we invested time into the game's systems enough to make the incomprehensible become familiar. Eventually, it all made sense. The payoff was worth it. Mir Moon EP wraps that nostalgic sentiment in a gorgeous package, if you can embrace the challenge. I flock to Metroidvania games like a bee to honey, 
I just didn't expect to play one soaked in Mexican folklore. In Guacamole, you play as a luchador who must fight through death to rescue El President his daughter. While the premise is silly, it's clear that the developers at Drinkbox took their jobs seriously. Deep combat, epic boss battles, couch co-op. Guacamole is the whole enchilada. Just don't forget to get the Super Turbo Championship Edition. As you can imagine, my job here in Metamorphosis can be pretty stressful. Whenever I need to zone out, I engage my brain with Kami, which is a clever and charming puzzle game. Kami is Japanese for paper. Kami is also Japanese for God. Why do I feel closer to God when I play time-wasting puzzle games? I sure do lead a dynamite life. A retro styling of the horror genre. You wake up in a strange house with no memory of how you got there. More troubling, you quickly discover a dead body nearby, and clues in the room seem to implicate you. The end is rather controversial, but I thought it was excellent. A word of warning. Home is scary, so keep a change of pants nearby. never turn us over to Mireille. He might if he caught us smoking his cigarettes. <coughs> Don't drag on it so long. How do you know about this stuff? I read a book. One of Senor Octavo's books? No, it was the manifesto. He has a whole chapter dedicated to smoking. <laughs> You're making fun of me. What the hell's up with that bird? It's more than I can carry. That's too much ground to cover. Music to you. Recording.
reporting. I think he sees me. Get your hands off me. <laughs> This is no mere piece of paper. It is an escape plan. A blueprint for a key. A master key. Capable of unlocking any number of doors inside this facility. But that is not all. In the garden, there is a gate to the outside world. A gate to freedom. This key, I am told, will unlock that gate. I'll be taking that key. But Senior Octavo... Shh, shh, shh. Un momento. Go ahead, 933W. You can't stay here. I'm too old to be tilting at windmills. But you don't know what the Headmaster is capable of. Sadly, I know all too well. History abounds with men like the Overseer. He will kill you. Recalibrate you. Were I 30 years younger, things would be different. I would hew to the line that Zager has drawn. But today, I am merely an old academic with failing eyesight. I doubt I can even see the line. I'll come back for you. For all of you. Why, 933W, I find your compassion extraordinary. Call me weep. I'm not a number anymore. It's quiet tonight. A blueprint of the Overseer's Master Key. The librarian suggested this key is required to escape from the facility. I know of a 3D printer located in archives. With this blueprint, the girl can manufacture a key. Equipping taser. Reporting. Everything looks good. Check in.
I'll hold on to this. It's a taser. Trust that. The Overseer runs this library like a wild animal preserve. Look, but don't touch.
All right. Now I think we need to configure the blueprint.
This key's identical to the one the headmaster used in his office. Let's go there now. The girl has the key. Let's get her to the surface. Head back to the overseer's office. What do you got? P zero at the ready. What's that? Get your grubby mitts off me. <laughs> <laughs> Can you access that? Derringer and the Headmaster went this way to the surface.
there's an elevator on the other side of the... It's probably the... An elevator it must lead to the way out. Citizens of Metamorphosis. Words fail me tonight. I cannot rightfully describe the bleak, chasmal longing that echoes through my heart. Our beloved librarian, Senor Luis Octavo, has passed away. Derringer paid him a visit earlier this evening, hoping to discuss his exciting new role as cultural attaché. Instead, he found the senor lying prone on his office floor, his heart failing. Ever valiant, Derringer sprang into action. He tried desperately to save the poor man. Sadly, it was too late. The librarian succumbed to the great unknown, cradled in Derringer's arms. But in a final act of appreciation, his words, his, his I'm sorry, his last words as he looked up at Derringer were, Thank you. As I'm sure has been reported, Senor Octavo and I did not always see eye to eye. Still, I made it a point to listen to his thoughtful and honest assessments of our fair republic. He was especially critical of our prized surveillance infrastructure. I regret that I wasn't ever able to persuade him of its importance. I learned at an early age to never speak ill of the dead. I must hold my tongue now, but I will say this, for it pains me too greatly to keep it to myself. Had our security been more robust, Luis Octavo would still be alive. A camera is an asset to our superior way of life. But what use is a camera without a good pair of eyes to monitor the feed? Had someone seen the librarian collapse, they could have reached him in time. I am confident the arrival will help improve security in the future and thus assure us greater safety going forward. Thank you. For listening. And good night, librarian. We mourn your loss, but we celebrate your life with an equal passion.